hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are back with another vlog let me bend this so it doesn't fall over but yeah we are back with another vlog this week's vlog um is gonna be filled with a couple of things um i'm wearing the same dress that i wore last night mind your business um <clears throat> it's gonna be filled with a couple of things um I am going to do a video on this. You guys are probably going to see that video before this vlog or you'll be seeing this vlog before that video. But basically, I got a new job. Um, I'm going to be working at a hospital now. Um, I know that just means that basically I won't be able to model. Honestly, I won't. Um, unless I do shoots on the weekend or if I'm able to do a couple of shoots and stuff on the weekend. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I'll still be able to do um, YouTube. Whew. I'll still be able to do YouTube and stuff because my schedule is going to be like a 9 to 5. Um, but because my schedule is a 9 to 5, that's usually the time that I go and shoot. So I am really not able to shoot. Like, I'm, I'm really not. So, <clears throat> um what was it that I was saying I said all of that to say I just got from just got back from doing my physical because I haven't had a physical in over four years because I haven't like had to have jobs where I needed physicals because I've been modeling for four years you know modeling full-time for like almost four years um so I haven't had a physical for four years so I had to get a lot of freaking blood work drawn like a lot of blood work I literally had like they had like nine vials of blood like I needed to eat because I'm like yo I'm I know I'm gonna pass out and once this is done, I'm going to fill this up with water so I can really hydrate myself. But I did this just to give me some type of energy because it has green tea extract in it. So, And this is a strawberry acai. I always get strawberry acai. But I get strawberry acai made with lemonade, no ice, no strawberry scoops, and four pumps of vanilla. That four pumps of vanilla, baby, takes it to a whole nother level. Takes it to a whole nother level. Um, but yeah. I'm supposed to be doing like a shoot thing with my friend. Excuse me. I'm supposed to be doing a shoot today with my friend. Um, and we're supposed to be going to a paint and sip place that we shot for before to do a shoot with them. But I haven't been able to hear, I haven't heard back from, you know, the director of the shoot or anything. So if I don't hear back from her by the time it hits 6.30, because I'm right by my friend's house and I can literally just go and pick her up. But if I don't hear anything back from her by 6.30... I'm going to go to either Bay Plaza. I think Bay Plaza because it has the Ulta there. I'm going to go to Bay Plaza so that I can return um, some of these things that I got from Ulta. Exchange it for something else because they said that you have like a 30 day. I am not able to like, you know, test anything. So you have like 30 days to return and all this other stuff. I hope I have everything that I need in here because I'm returning all of that. And then I need to go to Zara to return these, these things because Zara, you can't try on clothes. So I need to return those because they just did not work. And yeah give back my money or i'm gonna just exchange it for something else because i need new clothes anyway <clears throat> so waiting for that um this week um it's also going to be eid this friday um we have two eids we have one eid that is at the ending of ramadan but yeah we have one eid that is at the ending of ramadan um which is like the 30 days where we fast and then we have a second eid this you do not need to fast for but it is <clears throat> beneficial for you to fast like the 10 days leading up to it um it is definitely beneficial i believe if you fast quote me for i mean i might be wrong so don't quote me but i believe it is if you fast for those 10 days it's almost it's equivalent to fasting for two years i believe i believe that's the one i'm not 100 percent sure don't quote me but i think that's what it is so so I'm going to be prepping for that. I have, I'm shooting for my friend's clothing line tomorrow. So I'll bring you guys along with that. It's going to be at the same place that I did the CC's closet. She started texting and then she stopped. Um, it's going to be at the same place that I did the CC's closet shoot. People just love that place. Um, and then Monday I have a shoot with another friend's clothing line. Um, I was supposed to be shooting with Vim yesterday, I mean tomorrow, but I completely, like completely forgot that I had, because originally my friend, she was supposed to be on the 28th, so in my mind, I've always had the 28th carved out for her, so the fact that she's changed it to the 30th, I thought that I had the 30th free, so now I just have to let them know that I'm not going to be able to come in on the 30th, which sucks, because the money, oh, I need that money, especially because that would have been like my last shoot up in, I mean, because literally I'm supposed to start on Tuesday, so that would have been my last shoot before... 
I started work. So I'm just gonna have to let him know that I'm not gonna be able to make tomorrow. I haven't heard back from him yet, but I'm just gonna let him know early before he locks me in for anything and it still be early enough for them to try to get another model to come in. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, modeling is pretty much clipped for me. Um, I wanted to, I really wanted, I really, really wanted to not give up on it and not like go into the safe route but it's hard like it's hard because modeling is so inconsistent there's a lot of ups and downs some days um sometimes you know like some months i should say like it has its seasons it has its highs and lows so some some months it's great you are just shooting almost every week you have consistent you know income coming in and then there's some months where it's literally dry as a desert and you don't have anything you know and it's just it's hard for me to be like hey i can you know i can just stick this out you know what I mean? i've been doing it for four years and it's like my mindset was like if i can get signed to an agency where i'll be able to get more consistent work that i'm down but i've been trying to be I'm, i've been trying to sign with the agency and i had a meeting set up with one agency that i truly really 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 did want to go with but because of covid that was pushed back and i want to reach out to them again to see if you know that is possible and you know, I'll go and I'll work here and I'll see if I like it. And if I don't, then I will just no longer continue. And if I feel like I have a good um, chance at doing... And it's like the agency jobs you can decline or accept or whatever. So if there's jobs that's on Saturdays and Sundays, I'll be able to take them. You know what I mean? So I'm going to try my very best to still do as much modeling as I can. But my timing is just going to be 100% cut short. Um, shoots aren't after 5 p.m. so it's really gonna be short it's gonna be hard for me to be able to do this but I'm still trying to focus I have a lot of other alternative plans that I wanted to do anyways so I feel like this is just going to push me to do those entrepreneurial moves that I wanted to do um, and it doesn't tie into model Ma maybe it ties into it just a little bit but it doesn't really tie into modeling but week after that I'm gonna be having a procedure done Whew, I don't know if I want to speak about it or not because I know how people are. People are very like, oh my God, you hate yourself. Why would you do that? Why would you? And it's like, I'm a person, like, I'm pretty much open. Like, I really don't care what people think. I really don't care what people know about me. It's just like, I just don't want to hear people's shit. Okay, I just don't want to hear that. Like, I'm open to being, like, as informational, well, informative as I can be. But I just don't want to hear people's judgment. Like, there's nothing that I'm doing to myself that I'm doing because of the outside influence. You get what I'm saying? Anything that I have done to myself, whether it's under eye fillers, which isn't really anything, it's not permanent. I can always decide, hey, I don't want to do this anymore. And truthfully, when you start getting under eye fillers or when you get any type of fillers, it helps to prolong the chances of you getting wrinkles, okay? And I know in my family, as you get older, I've witnessed it with my grandmother and my father, our sunken eyes get even worse. So if I'm doing a, prevent a preventative procedure, procedure to not have my sunken eyes so damn sunk in is he recording me back there i don't know but it looks like he's recording me he's either recording me or um on his phone but if i'm getting some a procedure that is going to prevent me from getting super deep set wrinkles from when i'm older then that's really not a bad thing you get what i'm saying these are things that that i have been insecure about before for years like since i was in high school before social media was social media you know when we were still on myspace and aim and freaking facebook just started you know what i mean like when we didn't have all these influencers or anything that influenced a lot of young people to get certain things done to their body i don't no, that doesn't phase me. I'm 100% fine. If I gain a little stomach, I'm fine working out that stomach, okay? I have like this really, you know, guys usually have like these V-cuts. I have those V-cuts and I don't care if I have, no, I care. But it's like, I'm not going to go and get surgery to be like, hey, can you get, can you remove these V-cuts? Like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, who knows? My daughter may end up having my body shape and I will want her to see her mom and be like, hey, okay, I got my body shape for my mom. Like me, I can look at my mom and be like, okay, I got my body shape for my mom. You know what I'm saying? If my mom was a stick and I came out looking like Beyonce, no, if my mom was looking like Beyonce or whatever, hips, body, ass, but I'm, but I'm everywhere, 
and I'm over here looking like a stick. I'm gonna be like, baby, am I adopted or what? Because why well, don't I have that? I need it. Where's my ass? Where's my hips? I don't have it. It's non-existent. It's missing. Okay? I'm trying to find it. I can't. But you know what I mean? So it's just like the things that I'm getting done are things that I I want. I want. I'm not doing it for anybody else. I'm not doing it for anybody that's currently in my life. I'm not doing it for anybody who's out of my life. I'm not doing it for nobody but me. I want to look in the mirror and I want to look at myself and be 100% happy with everything that I see. And confidence is the best is the best thing a woman can wear. And I'm not going to sit here and act like, oh, I don't have confidence. I do have confidence, you know? Yeah, I worked really hard to get to get my self-esteem and my confidence as high as it is right now. And people try to tear it down a thousand one percent. Like, oh, you're bougie. Oh, you feel like you're full of yourself. I'm not full of myself. It's just, it took real long for me to recognize the crown that's on my head. And I'm not allowing anybody to tilt it, shift it, remove it, nothing. Have me cover it. No. I'm proud of the skin. I'm proud of the skin that I'm in. Okay, the flesh that is within me. I'm proud of the person that I am. The, my face, my hair, my body. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, and I love it. But if there's certain things, like I said, I love my body. Like these, the things, like my fillers and stuff like that. Like I can live without it and not walk around like insecure and want to wear shades because I'm like, oh my god, I need to hide. Like no, I can live without it. But I know that there is options to just alter it to the way that I like it and you know even be 10 times more confident you know what I mean like it is what it is it's, uh, my camera overheated but what I was saying is if I felt like I was putting myself in harm's way then I wouldn't be doing this but that's also the reason why I don't really I'm not too sure if I want to let everyone know what it is that I'm doing I'm going to document it um just so you guys can just in case if i end up do wanting to release it and put it out there but i just know how people can feel like even with my under eye fillers like i got so many like negative comments on it or whatever and i know that sometimes i be using the wrong words to describe certain things and i just don't want to offend anybody i don't want it's crazy because it's like if it was regular life i wouldn't be thinking about anybody else but me but because i'm on youtube and you know my videos have a possibility of going viral depending on what the video title is and what it's about and what how people you know what's the 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 i wouldn't say foot traffic but just eye traffic of that video um it's a possibility of it getting like thousands of views so I just want to make sure that whatever I put out there is more educational than it is boasting or than it is promoting something or making someone else feel down about whatever it is that they have or something like that. Like, I don't want that. Like, that's not my point And that's not my reason for putting things out there. Um, it's really just to be, I, I try my whole page. I try to be as informative as possible. I don't ever try to be a gloater or someone who wants to put somebody else down or feel like oh I'm better than you never like if you know me in person you know I'm not that person like I'm not that person at all like I'm really the person that like people will say they're insecure about something I'm like girl you're crazy I wish I had that like you know like I have friends that are like oh I hate my freckles like are you dumb you could give it to me like if we could transfer faces that's fine because I want freckles like how do you not you know I'm that friend like I, I'm that friend that will compliment you over and over about a flaw that you may see and I always say flaw in air quotes because it's really just a flaw to you it's not a flaw to everyone else you know beauty's in the in the eye of the, of the beholder and everyone that I see like that's why I'm a person that's like if I see someone who I find beautiful or whatever, I'm going to tell you, girl, you're gorgeous, you're whatever. Like, I'm always that person. I'm not a person that's afraid to say that another girl is pretty. I don't see another pretty girl and get insecure or feel away. I'm going to let you know that you're pretty because who knows? She could have been having a bad day that day when felt down about her outfit or her hair. And that compliment is the extra boost that she needed. So, and I don't even do it for that. I really just do it because I'm like, girl, I really feel like you're pretty. <laughs> like, you're just gorgeous. Yeah, she hasn't, let, well, she just hit me back letting me know that she's going to hit us up up another day closes at eight okay as you can see like my mask is full of makeup i could have worn no makeup today if i wasn't gonna shoot because the only reason why i put on makeup was because i thought i was gonna be shooting i'm gonna put my ac on but low all right let me get going i i'll be forgetting that my shift is right here Sorry, sir. I'm just trying to get into the right lane because I got a time. So, me giving me an attitude. People just be so like, ugh. 
Baby, good love and protection. I love your imperfection. Baby, I just need some company. Alright, you guys, so I just got to um Bay Plaza. Um so yeah, I'm about to run inside because they close. First of all, do I want to take my shoes with me? I'm gonna put it up here. But they close in like 30 minutes, so I need to hurry up and go in there. Uh, this mask is so dirty, but whatever. I'm gonna have to wash my face off once I get home. Um, I got this mask. Oh, I got this mask from um, Forever 21. I don't know if I'm gonna be in focus or not because I'm gonna just act like I'm holding my camera up. <laughs> Cause this is so awkward to do i'm telling you guys this is so awkward and i know that there's like some people even people who have way bigger following than me who's been doing this for way longer than i have they feel like um they feel like it's super weird oh are they closed oh alter is closed wow I'm confused. What is going on here? Access to Macy's at 200. Wow. That was a waste. So. Yeah, the mall is closed. So I came over here for no reason. At work. Whatever. I'm mad hot right now. Like, I could feel my, um head sweating under this wig damn time i'm hot do you guys see me swim probably not but i wasted my time coming here because it's close that's why i checked you guys saw did you guys see i don't know if y'all saw i think i did i checked online to see if they was open or not and it's like the the sign literally says that mall is temporarily closed it's only jc penny and macy's that's open like come on bro Usually, if you Google online, if something is open, it'll be like, oh, um, temporary, temporarily closed. Something, something, but nothing at all. So, I'm gonna just go home. That little walk to the mall had me hot. But, um, yeah, today I didn't do nothing productive. Um, I'm most likely just gonna end the vlog here because once I get home, what am I gonna do when I get home? I'm probably gonna work out. I'm gonna try to do the Chloe Ting 28 day challenge. My friend Kendra told me about it. Her name is Kinesthetic here on YouTube. Um, I'll leave her the link to her video down below because she be hella consistent. Like, I'm like, she's just like, she's a goal when it comes to consistency and putting out videos. Like, all of quarantine, she put out a video like every single day um, of quarantine. And I was just like, girl, God bless because. I can't but she really she has a, a lot of like natural hair tips fitness like everything like it's something for everybody um so yeah she told me about the Chloe Ting challenge and she's really into fitness as well and has been working out consistently all throughout quarantine as well and she says that she already sees results so I think she was doing it only for like a week so I want to try it to see because I'm trying to I have a goal okay my birthday is coming up in two months right August I mean we basically have August or September so we up basically two months um it's more like three but i'm gonna say two because the way this year has been like flying by it's crazy so i'm gonna say two months um and then what was i talking about so yeah my birthday is coming up in two months so i'm trying to get my body right i'm trying to get everything together i need my stomach tight you know i'm starting to lose the qu quarantine pounds and everything i'm really happy about that um during quarantine i was 155 pounds like can you believe that shit i weighed myself today i was 156 no 146 45 like in between the two i'm trying to be on like a no meat type of diet basically kind of like a pescatarian um i'm not someone who's like super like oh my god no like if i'm on a diet i'm very realistic with my diet like i'm not gonna be on like oh i'm gonna be on a keto diet and if i have a craving for pizza i'm not gonna eat pizza because it's not keto that's not me like if i have a craving for something and it's like i really have a craving for it i'm going to eat it because i feel like it's better to just 
give in to that craving right then and there than to cut everything, all, your, all the foods that you love off all together because then you're gonna end up binge eating all of those foods and fall off of track because you're gonna spend a whole week eating salads or two, three weeks eating salads depriving yourself from all the foods and things that you enjoy and being realistic with the diet that you can keep up with and then you're gonna be like, you know what, fuck it, this is gonna be my cheat day and that cheat day turns into a cheat week and that cheat week turns into a month, year, so on. So I'm someone that's just like, if I have a craving for something, I'm gonna eat it and then I'm gonna go back on my diet. Like I'm not going to deprive myself from all the foods that I love. Like if I truly have a craving for something, I'm just gonna eat it because one day of eating it is not gonna put me off track. You know what I'm saying? Four, five, six, seven a week or two weeks of eating it is gonna put me off track, but not one day, not one meal. And it'll usually just be that one meal and then I'll go on track for everything else. So I also want to go to the supermarket so I can get some shrimp. I wanna make a shrimp salad, a shrimp Caesar salad. I had that the other day. Um, my boyfriend, a, ch a shrimp and chicken Caesar salad. It was so good, like with jerk shrimp. So gonna make that again. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do when I get home. So tomorrow, Tomorrow, what am I doing? I have to go do a drug test for work and I'm gonna be shooting again. So I'll bring you guys along, um, depending on how everybody feels comfortable with me shooting, but I'll bring you guys along and everything. So yeah, see you tomorrow. The next day. Okay guys, I look crazy because I don't have no lashes on and my face is still dry as hell from my powder. But what I was saying, what I wanted to say is that I am hella busy today i have a shoot i have to go and get my drug test and like vision screening thing um today as well and then i have another shoot after that only for like two hours but i'm, I'm really backed up on time so it's y'all i don't know why i did this to myself because i'm so busy i'm so so busy today so i have a really busy really busy day today and I don't know how I'm gonna do it because my eyes burn. I'm tired from last night. I went out with my friends to go eat, drink, and my eyes burn. Like literally, they're burning. Like I put alcohol in them, they're burning. So this damn truck passes another. If another light passes and I'm still here, I'm gonna be tight because at this point I'm gonna be late, bro. This is not it. All right, y'all. I'm about to park up and get in here. It's 10:12. I need to hurry up and get in here. I'll contact. I'll contact you guys. I'll hop back on here once I get out of here. Hey guys, I'm at my shoot now. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of behind the scenes of me shooting. If you guys watched my last vlog, then you see that this is a little familiar because I shot here for some vlog, so I'm shooting here again. Um, I'm gonna leave the brand name and everything if you guys see any pieces where you could get it from and all the information down in the description box. So, yeah. Come with me, leave all of your things, yeah. We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah.
The face behind the brand, the mastermind. <laughs> oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, hey, you guys. So, I just woke up. Um, and we'll wash my face. But <clears throat> I sucked with what is this thing called vlogging yesterday. Yesterday was our second Eid. As always, I was in the kitchen all day. I didn't even like the outfits that I had, I didn't even get dressed in it. Like I literally couldn't. I didn't do anything. I didn't do my makeup. I just like fixed my hair. And that was about it. Today I am going to go to my friend's rooftop B-Day dinner and yeah so I'm going to be getting ready for that. I'm going to bring you guys along, vlog as much as I can and I'll basically, basically be closing this vlog out today. So yeah I'm about to get ready for that and then once I get ready and everything I'll bring you guys along. I'm about to figure out an outfit, clean my room because my bed is a mess and yeah I'll get back to you guys. I gotta charge my camera as well because it is dead. Okay, later. Alright guys, I'm here now. The sun is crazy. I'm trying to find a... Just stay on this side. Okay, yeah, this is better. So we're here now. She's taking... Birthday girl is taking pictures. Over there. I can't see. But her setup is so pretty. Let me show you guys everything. Look at this. So pretty. Everyone's taking pictures. I'm sorry if I'm chewing so loud. himself and didn't do me. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? It's ridiculous. Yeah, Alright. <laughs> I'm about to take pictures and stuff. I want to do mine right here. I didn't close out the vlog yesterday, but I mean like you guys know me by now. Of course I didn't do it. So I'm closing it out today. Today is Sunday. This video will be going up today on Sunday. Um, yesterday I didn't record that much because after we were done taking pictures and everything, we ended up eating and then we were doing like some dance challenge thing or whatever that we were doing and I was just like just caught up in the moment. You guys know me already. I suck at vlogging. But this vlog, like I said, is not going to, it was not a week in the life of me or anything. Um, I did have a shoot or two to do and you guys came along with me to like my doctor's appointment or any, and everything. So it was really just like a vlog of a couple of days. But I hope that you guys still enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. And I know that I have been slacking really, really bad with... Um, posting on my makeup videos and like my tutorials and stuff but um in my last vlog no not is it was that my last vlog or was it this vlog but I told you guys I got a new job um and I will be working at a hospital so this past month I have just been trying my best to get into like making sure that I have everything um not the past month the past like two to three weeks I'm just trying to make sure that I have everything that I needed. I had to try to get a physical, found out that my insurance dropped me. Then to try to find a place where I'll be able to buy, you know, get a physical um, that is not super expensive or to try to get it covered in some type of way. So I've just been doing a lot of back and forth and stuff like that. So I've just been really busy. But I, once I get back into work and I'm settled, I work eight to five i'll be able to come back home shoot my videos have them ready come the next day edit them have them ready for the weekend so the tutorials will be coming back soon they definitely will um i will try to get some out to you guys 
if anything I might if I have time today I could just come back home like once I come home record and then post a video because I really do want to do like a makeup video and I just feel like I haven't done one in forever and you know my unpopular opinion to, to um get ready with means and all that other stuff like I really want to get back into those those are like my babies I love them but let me not ramble on because I love to ramble. This is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to thumbs it up if you did. If you want to see more vlogs, thumbs it up. Let me know down below. Let me know what type of vlogs you guys would like to see and all of that. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, come on me. Leave all of your things, yeah. You can stop it, Gucci, stop it, Louis V, yeah. Come on me. Fly you out to grief. Full speed, so fully belly. Yeah.